Okay, so we're back. Uh, I just wanted to add this little bit of, uh, of the video to show you how to uh, actually make secure webhooks because that's also actually important. Uh, to do that, you need to check the webhook signature. This way you can verify that the webhook came from Stripe because theoretically speaking, someone could you know know that you have a specific route that's slash webhooks or something and then they could know that you have Stripe payments. They could like fabricate fake request bodies and you know trigger um, uh, these these cases in a specific way and then uh, these cases in a specific way and abuse your application. In order to avoid that, we want to uh, check the signature of each webhook and see if it is correct. If it actually the webhook came from Stripe itself. There, the, there's a guide for it right here. Um, first of all, obviously, you need the request body, but you need it in raw format. So currently, we are using the body parser up here to parse um, JSON and then just have like if you type request.body you get the JSON um, parsed body. In order to also have a um, the, the raw version of the request body we will need to add this bit of code right here. Uh, give me a second. So this bit of code uh, I, won't, I don't, won't really go into detail what this does but basically uh, request body will be the JSON parsed uh, version of the request body and then request.raw body will be the raw version of the request body with no JSON parsing. So that's, we just changed the body parser middleware. If you want to know more about the verify and the configuration of the body parser itself, you can go to their docs and read more about that there. Uh, we want to get the signature, which will be located here. Conveniently, we can just copy that bit of code right here and just replace request headers with, with that. Uh, next thing is we want to copy this bit of code uh, right here. So we define the event variable, then we run the stripe webhooks construct event, we take the request body. Uh, we don't actually want to take the request body, we want to take the request raw body. And we take the signature and we take the endpoint secret, which we will get right now. If all goes well, we will then have the event in there. If it does not, we will have, we will send back a response uh, with an error, that webhook error, and that's, that's, that's really it. So we want to get that secret now. It's right here. So we can reveal the secret. Obviously it will be different for you and you won't be able to use mine because, um, yeah, you won't be able to use mine. It's it's mine, man. <laughs> you can't use my thing. So yeah, endpoint secret up here. We want to define it there and then copy this bit. Put it in here. Uh, okay, and that's about it. Now we can restart this API and test if it still works. So if we go to here, we click pay, we should say money in the bank too. Will it say money in the bank too? It's a, it's a question. Oh, there it is. And we should get a, that was successful. And then if we go to our dashboard and refresh this page, we should see two webhooks, the one from the video, the, the previous part of the video and the one we just did right now. And we should, you know, have no issues because it was signed. Now, in order to check if it was actually valid, what we can do, all right, is let's say we put request body here instead of the actual request body. Or if you actually change the secret to, let's say, random. I'll just do this in order to show you that if any of these are different, um, you know, they won't work. So, um, yeah. So now if we send this request again, let's refresh the page. I uh, see there's two of them that right now, uh, they both worked, uh, received, true, all good, right? So let's make a, another request. It's going to be a bit laggy. Uh, the internet's been a bit weird since, you know, coronavirus, everyone's home. Yeah, so uh, signing one uh, email, whatever I wrote there, that doesn't matter. For two, okay. And then we click pay. After we see it here, we should have a thing, uh, not in the console, but in here, and he's in the bank. Uh, and then we have an error, type is undefined. 
uh, we should actually return this, by the way, so it doesn't keep going in the function. But if we refresh the webhooks page, um, I believe it's this one. I really hope it is. Yeah, we can see that it did fail. Uh, next retry in an hour, and then no sign, uh, no signature found matching the blah blah blah. Right. So the error handling works, and if the signature is incorrect the header is incorrect or the request body is incorrect, you will get this error. You can also console log the error if you prefer, but that will be about it when it comes to signing webhooks. Hope you learned something new. Uh, well, by something new, I mean just hope you learn how to sign webhooks. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.